What would you say to the claim that if you care about the earth, if you care about the planet, if you care about the environment, meditate? Because it's not obvious, right? You know, no. You think it would be the next sentence would be get some solar panels, exactly. buy a Prius, exactly. Exactly. Uh, you exactly. know, lobby for carbon uh, exactly. tax. Exactly. You know, what do you think? Or somebody that saying, you know, you're as I've been told. You're wasting everybody's time doing this meditation stuff. They should be involved in preserving the planet. Yeah. I had one guy, one forum, angry at me mm -hmm. for deflecting people's attention away from what was really important, which is saving the planet. And I said, well, how do you know we aren't saving the planet? By winding down our egos a little bit more so we aren't so egoically focused on making ourselves relativistically better compared to our quasi Right, and I mean, I can feel it as this uh, path has unfolded for me, that the pull I have towards, you know, doing something or getting something else, acquiring something, driving here and there, traveling here and there, is about this fundamental restlessness mm -hmm. that we have acquired as a species. That, And if we don't address that restlessness, I really don't see how even covering the planet in solar panels is going to do anything because we'll just use it all right you know i mean so uh you know i mean i think it would be interesting to try to think about you know how you would uh you know unpack that for people that you know over here you have the global climate change crisis and the need to sequester carbon and over here you have this inner practice you know how would you go about teaching someone that well and i've made you got counter argument yeah that i think the emphasis on trying to put solar panels up is dissipative. I mean, it really takes people's focus away from what could be, I, I believe, a real solution. I think if we could get people out of believing that it's worth spending a billion dollars to win a boat race, mm -hmm. there are 80 people in the world that have as much money as the bottom half. Mm -hmm. We just start to get our hands around how stupid that is and how it's all this relative my ego and your ego yeah. My ego and your yeah. ego, and how they compare to each other, and I need to make sure my 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 yacht is bigger than your yacht, and my forty thousand square foot house is smaller than your fifty thousand square foot house. We've got to get away from that because it sets a precedent for everybody else. We've got to stop this ridiculous role of comparisons and say, what do you absolutely need to live? Right. So there's a runaway process of ego yeah. that is parallel to the runaway process of energy consumption and climate change. Right. And you can change the source of the energy, or you can sequester carbon in order to help deal with climate change. But at best, that would be a very short-term solution, because it'll go to 40% have right. what half of the world has, and so forth. Right. Now, coming the other way around, you might say, well, then, the focus ought to be on political institutions and organizing people for social change. Um, what do you say I, to that? I've also heard that. Yeah. I get this argument. Nothing's more important than political <laughs> politics. Yeah, I've heard that before. Yeah. <laughs> and politics. And I say, well, if you want to fix politics, if you want to fix institutional governments, fix the problem that's at the core of that. I mean, we relate within a large hierarchical structure to the person above us and the people below us. And we do things like reciprocal altruism, which we call compassion, but it's not. We do all kinds of bizarre behaviors to you know, do this positioning. If we didn't have the egoic structure we have, we wouldn't have that huge drive to fit into this hierarchical structure, which it takes so much of our behavior and squishes it into this ridiculous structure and behaviors that fit this pattern. You really have no other value other than just to keep this ego going. If we could just take that ego down, not even to 100%, just take it down 30 40%, the world would have to be a better place to live in. Institutionally, from a religious perspective, from our own perspective, everything should get better all at once. So why not focus our attention there? Well, it's interesting because, like, let's just take the the argument and say, well, okay, yeah, let's let's focus on making the political system as democratic and transparent as possible, and making it really good at representing the interests uh, of human beings as we live together on the planet. Let's imagine a global government that is loosely configured and which actually achieves the goals of, say, these democratic principles, then you'd have a very good system for still actualizing 
the egoic demands of the individuals. It would still do nothing but do a very good job serving a poor end. Exactly. And so you're, you're not really taking the problem at its source. You know, the word radical, as you probably know, means to go to the, go to the root, go to the source. And the root of the issue that we're talking about when we're talking about global climate change, when we're talking about structural inequality, is not Exxon. It's not even Donald Trump. It's the system of egoic yeah. uh, consumption that is driving us all to become Exxon, to become right. Donald Trump. If we can liberate ourselves from our inner Exxon and our inner Trump, then something truly interesting could occur. But the one thing that's the root of that, the root problem of that is we like to try to push the problem out there. Yeah. I mean, it's an object, it's an yeah. organizational structure, it's somebody yeah. else's problem, yeah. it's not my problem. If you can't fix this, there's no way you can arrange the deck chairs on the Titanic to make it work. It's not going to work. Right, so the solution to ecosystemic change is within you. Absolutely. Yeah. If you don't solve it there, you're never going to solve it. Agreed.